Oh, well, now did you hear this? We're sending a thousand New York City cops over to Iraq to restore order and help set up the police force. Now, they're not going to stand out. A couple of dozen Irish guys in jet jackets, you know. Hey, genius, come here. You live here? You with the beard. Come here. <laughs> Officer, that's not my camel. Boys, dig in. Ooh, look at that little. <laughs> ah, that's a little. That's the spirit. Drink up, right? Have a little fun once in a while for crying out loud. The only one that ever eats on this show. What is this? A weird way to open? Now it is. How about this New York Baghdad uh, cop thing? What do you think? Well, a uh, test pattern show. I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> <laughs> a blatant. No, no. I, I, I think the New York police going over there. That way they'll finally find the weapons of mass destruction after they plant them. <laughs> <laughs> See. Spoken because I don't trust cops. Yes, you yes, got it. Yes, I understand. You know, I but like there's no, uh, there's no, uh, there are no black people in Iraq. So how are the cops going to know who to shoot at? Oh, no. oh. thanks, applause oh. break. Oh, thanks, applause oh. break. Yes. Well, he had to be liberal today because he was dressed like Jeff Tweedy from Wilco. <laughs> uh, but you got to say it's a really brilliant move when. Uh, they're cutting cops here right. to then send more over there. Yeah. You know, because we're not going to hell in a handbasket as it is. Let's just, and while we're out of transit, cops, get those guys over. Send all the cops. Yeah. Well, send firemen, too, for God's sake. Yeah. Well, get them all out of here. As a matter of fact, why don't we go? Oh, Jesus, I angry. No. <laughs> it's true, though. You're going to have a bunch of jaded, big dead cops in 10 years, like New York cops. Yeah. Eh, I'm just in it for my 20. Get out of here. <laughs> 20 in a mouth. Send the cops that we don't need. We don't need certain cops. So oh, it's not a, you know, like, oh, well, okay. Who are these cops? Leave crossing my out crossing of guards. Oh. We don't need no damn crossing guards for cops. Women cops, get rid of them. <laughs> oh my, we yeah, don't yeah. need women cops. <laughs> With their flat asses and that bad hairdo. <laughs> Nina Maid. Let them go to the WNBA where that kind is accepted. <laughs> <laughs> but well, they can't, they, they can't, uh, they, I mean, it's, it does seem crazy because what, you know, there's going to be so many cultural differences. How the cops going to know? I mean, one of the biggest things cops have to do is clear up domestic disturbances. And <laughs> over there, it's like you can you can beat your wife for anything over there. You can you can hit her for showing too much eyebrow, and <laughs> you know you don't even have to be drunk or shirtless. So, That's right. But don't you think this is more, this is going to piss off the, uh, the 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 people there already? Because they're I mean they're already pissed off. Don't you think this is going to add more to it that we're sending our cops over here? But the cops be... that we don't even like. I mean cops... black people don't like. Well, we like them. But I'll tell you something. First of all, there's no they're all going to be detoxed in the first week because uh, there's no drinking over there. How do you think it feels to be a cop and they don't go drinking? That's got to hurt. No? <laughs> well, speaking on that same subject, what Lewis was bringing up, New York is broke. Okay. That's the big word. Now, is this insane? How could this city with this many millionaires and billionaires be broke? It's pretty uh, psychotic. What's well, going on? I, I'm from Philadelphia. We're doing just fine. Oh. Oh, oh yeah. Philadelphia, you've been broke for, for like 40 years. No. There's nothing in Philadelphia. We're doing great in Philadelphia. You're not. There's yeah. nothing there. You're barely a city. <laughs> You're like a diorama. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> This is a city. We've been nice to you for a long time because you have decent sports scenes, but your city is awful and nobody wants to be angry. I'm not even angry. It's I'm from Philadelphia. Wait a minute, but no, we, have money, we, we have, have money though. We have money. It's amazing. I mean, there has to be some systematic. If New York City could go broke, any place yeah, could go how broke. Where they're broke? How do you know they're broke? Just what do you think? The mayor's lying? Yes. He just comes <laughs> on and says, we're broke. I never seen the books. It's the stock market. And you never will either. If I have anything to say about it. It's the stock market. You know, it's like, it's the whole trickle down thing. I mean, the stock, this whole city is dr driven, fueled by the stock market. Right. And when these guys, you know, it's all reverse trickle down economics. If you have these, these bond trades, and stockbrokers not making their million dollar bonuses, that's going to affect the, uh, the cocaine dealers and the high-end escorts. And, you know, and, then, and then the escorts, they don't get their nails done as much. That affects the Korean community. It, it spreads all over the city. That's very, well, that's very good. God yeah. damn it, that's good. Oh, it's very you know, once again, though, you got this thing of like, you know, the, he's a, the schmuck mayor we got is he, instead of going uh, and... Uh, you know, he, he's dealing with smoking in bars. That's that's right. his. He, that becomes his obsession. They, he deals with that. Meanwhile, you know, they're looking at the numbers. The numbers don't add up. We we don't have anything. We don't have anything because they blew up two buildings. You know, and and 
and the federal government's going to cut. Well, did I lose my? I'll I get lost, that for you. Just I lost that. my voice. Keep talking. Keep talking. It's fine. Here you go. Three hundred and fifty billion. Getting all hot and bothered. Calm down. That's <laughs> irritating. <laughs> Yeah, the federal He's government's going to cut three hundred fifty billion dollars in taxes. That's what uh, you know George wants to do. So you know, to take some of that money and send it here. Look, we took the hit. That's Hello, good. we you took the hit. So send, you know, yeah. say we're going to cut cash. We're, we're going to, you know, you, these go well. If we, we're going to stimulate the economy. What? You gotta have an economy to stimulate, jackass. <laughs> Do we have a doctor for Lewis? Yeah. <laughs> you can have a heart attack. I feel but, better now. Yeah, but don't. <laughs> Jesus, Lewis, you're going at it, man. But the other thing is, look. Now, speaking of this off-duty cop thing and the smoking thing, that guy got killed. The bouncer from smoking, and now they're gonna start hiring yeah. off-duty cops as bouncers at clubs. That's, that's what do you great. Think about that. I think it's, first of all, every, every cop I know spends all his off-duty time in a bar anyway. <laughs> so, they might as well be, they do it in other cities, right? But yeah, that, just for guys smoking and all, no, you don't well, not just smoking. Well, I know what it is, but we can't police every damn thing. We can't do that. Let's be honest, you know exactly what it probably is. A bunch of SUVs blasting rap music at 3 o'clock in the white neighbors when we're trying to sleep. See, that's baloney. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> that's baloney. It was the Asian guy who uh, was the, the, the culprit yeah, right there. No, that's true. And nothing to do with black guy. Say it again. No. He the black and he guy. Stabbed stabbed the black guy. Yeah. The, what do you think about that? No, I'm not trying to get over it now. Just deal with I'm that racist statement over that you just made. I'm trying, I'm trying to get over that uh, man bites dog incident. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the point. Is what that, is the point? There are, I used to live in, when I lived in Bay Ridge, we lived right near a bar, and uh, people would, you know, every night it was the same thing. Drinking, fighting, cursing, screaming, urinating, and their vandalism. Finally, they told me, you can't come in anymore. <laughs> I'll tell you something. <laughs> hey, Bob Hope, that was great. Yeah, no, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Da, 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 da. Well, guess what? Da, 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 da. The crowd seemed to enjoy it, fellas. <laughs> and then, and they're younger than any one of us. You sons of bitches. <laughs> I, think Sorry, folks, I guess you haven't been around comedy lately. Apparently it's uncool if you put a punchline at the end of the joke. <laughs> Listen, we'll be right back. I know that's what Daddy said when he went out for the paper ten years ago, but we're not lying to you. <laughs> Well, first off, let's face it, there was another violent attack last week in baseball nice. by a fan. Now, see this kind of nonsense that goes on? <laughs> All right, look, I hope it's up there because I don't see anything, but what do you think about this madness? I think it's your people. Irish people, that's all it is. Drunk <laughs> Irish people. That's still what the way it's supposed to be dealt with. Irish people go, just look in the camera and tell them to stop. You'll end it right now. That's your folks. Drunk, they always got their shirts off like they're in shape. What? <laughs> oh, I'll tell them to at least keep their shirts on. <laughs> I, think you know, it's great. I think it's great. Baseball's boring. Never been a contact sport. You finally get a couple of drunks every couple of innings. Tackle an umpire, I thought it was hilarious. But they never can fight. At least give me a good fight. That's the best part of it. You couldn't even run. You saw exactly. him going sideways. <laughs> you know, the reality is some of these some of these umps uh, do suck. Yeah. And maybe this will just keep them on their toes a little bit, you know. I that guy? Say, better these guys there than in a comedy club. <laughs> you know, I deal with them kind. You know, yeah. kind of, they don't even know what where they are. <laughs> and to get them out there where they can run around and, and have some, you know. Yeah, but none of them, none of them know how to fight. They it's can't not a danger. fight. It's the damn. Yeah, Irish people. I'm gonna stay on them, man. They cannot fight. Stop it. Why does he get to be racist? Because I can. He got. Well, they all fight right. like this. You know, this <laughs> You can only be racist if you make a point that we can't deny. <laughs> Look, Irish people can fight. Billy Kahn. It was a few years that ago. That was 1930. <laughs> but, but he was good. Uh, how drunk do you have to be? By, like, it's like, what, two weeks into the season or three weeks, and you're already psychotic. <laughs> You know, the, your team's record is seven and five. Well, well, what difference does it make? You got money on it. But it's because a lot of these people, I hate to be on the sophisticated level of psychology that I am, but wow. a lot of these people, wait. they watch the ref blow a call and they get mad because they're drunk and all the blown calls they've made in their lives, 
You know, yeah. the fact yeah. that they could have invested in Pfizer and they when Viagra came out and they <laughs> the fact the relationship the they made. Carl, it was the first inning. It wasn't nothing even going on. What was it? And he attacked a, a big Dominican Marine. Dominican? No. <laughs> it was a Dominican rep. Yeah. Hey, wait, Domin wait, both, both incidents were at the same ballpark, though, right? Yeah. yeah. So I don't, like how, I don't like how they're making it like it's the whole league. It isn't. It's just it is. people on the south side of Chicago. But don't you think that... <laughs> <laughs> that's a good point. It is. <laughs> they won't bring that up. Yeah. A lot so of these that's people, what, it's, people... It's part of our culture now where everybody wants to be... You know, nobody's happy just sitting back and watching anymore. You've got to be involved. It's all that reality show. You know, these are people they're 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 too stupid for a game show they're too chicken for fear factor they're too ugly to get on survivor so they just run out and make fools of themselves on television but wait a minute no. survivor has some good-looking people but, <laughs> but that's listen, what i'm saying this, you're right i'm really an idiot <laughs> um but listen to this don't you think when you look at like any other place their fans go out and like you go to England, the soccer fans like kicking to death while they're playing, singing the best hits of ministry and stuff. You know, any other place, people are psychotic. All fans are pretty well behaved. It's once in a while it's a drunken person of Celtic extraction. Well, in Philadelphia. <laughs> a Celtic American. Now, let's talk about this. Now, look at this. NBC, this girl's 13. This is a show on NBC on a regular network, okay? Take a look at this. 13. Good Lord. Oh, my goodness. Now, <laughs> personal feelings aside, <laughs> you put that in slow motion. <laughs> personal, personal perversions aside, don't you think? I know that's a racy number from Chicago, <laughs> but is this? Uh, have we decided? Have we? Don't you think we've lowered the age of consent on TV to like 14 now? Yeah. It seems like child porn is normal. Yeah. Yeah. That's, you know, and that's I, like Baywatch for pedophiles. <laughs> you know, I mean, I hate. I hate Say it louder, Billy. Mike, we don't have a great mic system. You know, my pay watch for pedophiles, you know? If you first time on, you gotta really hit home. Now look. <laughs> you know, you don't want to have a rep like dumb, uh, Lewis The mic's right this. here. Lewis does not need this. He's already got his big rep over around the corner. <laughs> and let me tell you something else. Go ahead, I'm sorry. Well, I, it, I mean, it's, you, hate, you hate to sound like some Baptist preacher from the 50s complaining about Elvis the pelvis, but, hey, but hey, it, it really get, it's really going, uh, it's, it really is getting too far. I mean, the dance, the dance moves that are popular now are basically, you know, stripper moves. And these yeah. girls are like, I mean, it used to be if you wanted to see a nine-year-old girl dancing like a stripper, you had to go to Bangkok. Now, you know, now it's all, I mean, really, you, you watch those girls dance and they're pulling every stripper move except for grabbing a single out of a drunk guy's mouth with their clenched butt cheeks. They're doing everything else. Well, what, you know, what happened genetically in our lifetime? Because when I was 13, there wasn't anything like that around. There were, these girls were in front of like a Kenner baking set, baking stuff all day and eating it by themselves. <laughs> You know, it's like bowling balls, you know? That's unbelievable. It's, where were they when I, you know, seriously? But we were. <laughs> well, I'm glad you hit the most important part of that on the head. Where were they when you were 13? <laughs> well, they're here now, huh, fellas? <laughs> oh. <laughs> but the point is, that's a perfect example of. We all find that funny, but 30 years ago, like eight guys would have came up after the show, I had and appreciate that, mister, yeah. and give it a big right hand. All people have is a right hand in those days. <laughs> all right, look, we'll be right back with the only show where the guests don't care if they hate it or liked, as long as they can humiliate others and me and themselves.